Hi, my name is Avery and I love books and here's my October wrap up. Hi there everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with y'all all of the books that I read in October and it is again nine books. Woo! <laughs> I have read nine books yet again, a repeat of last month. Woo! I am actually three books away from my yearly goal of 60 and I didn't hit that goal last year so I'm excited to pass that goal. I may even extend it to see how many books I can actually read this year. So I will get into the book discussion. Yeah. <laughs> the first book that I read this month was Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass. If you did not know, I have a review of this book. I will link it down below for you. This is the seventh, sixth book, don't know which number to call it, of Sarah J Mass's Throne of Glass novel. This follows one of the main characters named Kaol during the time period of Empire of Storms. I don't want to get into the synopsis of this book because many people haven't even read the first couple books of the series and I wouldn't want to spoil them for that. But if you were wanting to know my thoughts and feelings and even a brief synopsis of this book, go ahead and check out that video down below. I ended up giving this book a 4.75 to 5 stars. I really, really, really enjoyed it, but it didn't hit that five star mark for me like all the other Sarah J. Mass books do. I really, really, really enjoyed it though. Made me cry many times and made me fangirl even more than that. So I totally approve of this one. <laughs> the next book that I read this month was Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. I absolutely loved this book. I ended up ordering this one on Amazon because I have been hearing nothing but good things about this book on booktube and I was really curious as to what it was about about because I am a sucker for romance books as y'all know and it literally says on the cover two love stories right here so I had to pick it up. So if you did not know what this book is about it is told from dual perspectives. We have Charlie and then we have Taylor and both of them and their best guy friend named Jamie all go to this convention together called Supercon and it's kind of like our Comic Con kind of thing or a VidCon. It's either one of those. I'm not sure but basically we have Charlie here who is a YouTube star and has recently landed the role of a major character of a zombie movie and so she's one of the guests that comes to the convention who's asked to come to sit for panels and stuff and she brings her two best friends along with her as her guests and basically Charlie has just recently gone through a very public breakup with her co-star of this zombie movie and she wants nothing to do with talking about him she doesn't want anyone talking about him she just wants to get over it and be done with it and then while she's at the con she actually spots her very popular popular celebrity crush on YouTube and her name is Alyssa and it turns out that her crush may not even be one-sided. And then we have Taylor here who is literally me except I don't have a half shaved head and I don't have a love interest so other than that we're basically the same person <laughs> we have Taylor here who basically has a very large social anxiety and she has also been in love with her best friend Jamie for since she has ever met him and this convention basically brings herself out of her comfort zone and pushes her to basically be herself and to be more comfortable with things and like go get the guy and be comfortable make new friends and everything like that and oh, it was just inspiring to read about Taylor I love her so much because she's literally me <laughs> but yes it's their story all together you also get snippets of all of them together as friends and it's so cute and wonderful and I love this book I gave it a five out of five stars it may not have the best writing style I think because Taylor spoke to me in such a strong way I have to give it a five because it, it, it spoke to me it, it she's me in a book so I had to <laughs> the next book that I read this month was always by Lindsay Sands and this is another romance book with an arranged marriage. <laughs> what do you expect now? So in this book, we have our main couple love interest, Rosamond and Eric. And Rosamond is basically King Henry, I believe, the second. I, I 
think it's the second or the third one of the first ones so rosamond is that henry's daughter her his bastard daughter he fell in love with a woman named rosamond and she had a child and they named her rosamond and they sent her to live in a nunnery and she has been living in the nunnery for forever and she's planning on taking the veil and to become a nun but then one of king henry's sons almost tries to betray him in a way and sell him out to his enemies i believe i don't know i'm not sure <laughs> it's been a while since i read this book so bear with me and i read it in a day so <laughs> so king henry gets very concerned for his daughter's safety so he decides that she needs to be married so she has a strong husband to take care of her so he finds eric who has just broken off his own engagement with a woman who cheated on him so he is in that state of mind that all women will cheat on their significant others and he doesn't want to marry anyone but then the king comes to him and is like hey you're gonna marry my daughter and he's like crap okay i have to because the king is forcing me to so i have to and it's about rosamond and eric coming together as a couple and as first as friends then as a couple and it was really cute and i really enjoyed it um it's probably one of my favorite lindsay sands novels i quite enjoyed it i gave this book a four to five stars and i totally recommend it if you're a sucker for lindsay sands novels <laughs> the next book that i have is cruel beauty by rosamond hodge i actually don't have this book anymore i brought it back home to my parents house because i was traveling back home and just put it back in my old room where all my other books are because i already finished reading it so this book is a beauty and the beast retelling it is very fantasy based we have our main character nyx who has always been destined to marry the dark lord of their land so we find out at the beginning of this book that her father has basically struck a deal with this dark lord in some way you figure out later in the novel why but he strikes a deal with him and the payment for that deal is that when one of his daughters is of age he must send her to him to be his wife and Nyx ends up being that daughter and she has trained her whole entire life to kill this dark lord that is what her father wants her to do and so we have Nyx who is sent to this dark lord and it is about her discovering the giant mansion that he's in and discovering all the hiding places in there maybe making a few friends on the way and maybe even falling in love with the dark lord himself I actually really enjoyed this book I ended up giving this one a four out of five stars it really really struck home for me it was really cute I love any Beauty and the Beast retelling book I'm a sucker what can I say <laughs> I actually have a whole entire video called Beauty and the Beast retellings so yes I really enjoyed this one and totally recommend it the next book that I have for you is Hide Your Heart by Tracy Alvarez so if you haven't checked out my latest video the next couple books I will be talking about are actually books from that video that I got on Amazon for free on my Kindle app and so I had to read them because they were free romance novels and why not and this was one of them and I ended up really really enjoying this one I loved it a lot in this book we have our main character Lauren who has a young son who I believe is five or four or around that age and one day her car breaks down in the middle of the road at night and this man comes to basically rescue them and save them from being ditched on the side of the road kind of thing and his name is Nate and it turns out that he's actually their new next door neighbor to their estate that they live on their family estate Lauren lives on an estate with her brother and his wife and their child and Nate turns out to actually be a photojournalist and this does not sit well with Lauren because Lauren had a past life she used to live in New York for some reason that you find out later but she escaped that life for a specific reason and Nate's job has to do something with that past life and she's not really comfortable with that and so this whole story is of Nate and Lauren coming together or trying to bond in a way and discovering their feelings for each other I love books with kids in them I love I love books with kids in them I love books with babies in them I love them I love them so much and I love those stories that we get with a single parent with their child and that parent falls in love with another person and that person tries to weave their way into this new family and it's beautiful and this was one of those stories and I gave this book a four to five stars and absolutely loved it so the last four books that I read this month are actually a series and this is the intertwined hearts series by Kimmy Flores 
So our first book is Intertwined Hearts, and this is about the couple Abby and Caleb. The second book, An Exceptional Twist, and this is about Leah and Stefan. The third book is Tangled Paths, and this is about Brie and Josh. And the final book in the series is called Grafted Vines, and this is about Danny and Zachary. So I will be basically telling y'all the premise of the first book because I wouldn't want to spoil the rest of them for you. But a brief synopsis of the series as a whole, we have kind of a companion series. You do not have to read these books in order. You don't, you can only read one of them if you want, but I recommend reading them in order all together because that's what I did. I think I read all four of them in the span of a week and I absolutely loved them. They are fantastic. This is a sweet romance series. We don't have that mature content in here, so we have that more innocent romance story that I, I love love. It's really good. So what happens in this series is we have the first book, Intertwined Hearts, is about Abby and Caleb, and the next couple books are about the side characters that were present in the first book. It's kind of like Anna and the French Kiss, where side characters become main characters in the next books. And you also see the main characters from previous books in the later books, which I absolutely loved because there are babies in this book, and I love babies. I love reading baby books. <laughs> so the first book is about Abby and Caleb. So we have Abby who is a kindergarten teacher and one day this little girl named Madison walks into her classroom and brings her dad in tow and his name is Caleb. And five years ago he lost his wife to cancer and he's never really gotten over her death. And with the Madison's help and Caleb's in-laws, they kind of nudge him into a relationship with Abby and finally feeling a connection with another person other than his dead wife and all Abby has wanted for forever is to meet her pinch charming and to get married and have kids and start a family and oh, it's so cute it's so cute it's so cute it's so cute I love this book this isn't my favorite of the series but it's probably my favorite couple because as I told you before they are present in the later books also so they grow even more in the next couple books and they get even cuter now I love the series a lot so I gave this first book a three out of five stars the second and third book a four out of five stars and the last book a three out of five stars I love this series as a whole and I totally recommend it if you are a romance sucker like I am so there you have it those are all nine of the books that I read this month in October I hope you all enjoyed let me know down below if you have read any of these books or you if you have any questions at all or if you you want to know more about them I would love to talk to you about them in the comments below anyways thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon with a new video bye